The beginning of the August session of the Upper House of Parliament coincided with the infamous anniversary, 500 days of withholding the motion to waive the immunity of a third person in the country, Senate Marshal Tomasz Grodzki. The implementation, in short, of the Newman Doctrine is what is currently being done in the Senate under the spotlight. The so-called Newman Doctrine means protection for everyone who is a member of the civic platform. Remember, one rule is sacred to me. Learn this while you talk about anything. If you're going to be in the civic platform, I will defend you, like independence. Some senators believe that the matter is purely political. Some voices were drawn in a recording of people who, some of these people are already dead, by the way. It all started in 2019, when Tomasz Grodzki was to become the marshal of the Senate. Horrible, Professor Grodzki, a candidate for the marshal of the Senate. When my mom was dying, we had to give $500 for the surgery, supposedly for medical journals. I did not receive an invoice or a bill. I will never forget it. Following the disclosure of information, prosecution investigations were launched. Gazeta Polska was the first to write about the envelope scandal. At the words of Tomasz Sakiewicz about calling Grodzki an ordinary bribe taker, the marshal filed a private indictment against the editor-in-chief of Gazeta Polska. Grodzki wants three years in prison for me, just for saying how it is, that I commented. And it actually works because some people are simply afraid. Some witnesses were also brought to court. In May this year, after more than a year of battle of the district prosecutor's office with the office of the deputy marshal of the Senate, Bogdan Borusiewicz, the motion to waive the immunity was negatively assessed by the Senate's Committee on Regulations, Ethics and Senatorial Affairs. In this case, I believe that the prosecutor's office, led by an active politician, party leader and member of the ruling coalition, does not remain impartial. Then, at the session, the Senate rejected the prosecutor's motion. And have you seen this motion? Request to appeal, yes. Have you read it? I have not read it, but it was presented in the Senate. Some senators of the Law and Justice Party complained about obstruction of access to the content of the application. When it came time to vote, some senators said that they had not seen this motion. Some procedural considerations made this request unavailable. The case began to get wider and wider because in mid-May this year, the Central Anti-Corruption Bureau detained three doctors associated with the foundation established by Grodzki. One of them is Krzysztof K., the former head of general and vascular surgery at the Szczecin Hospital in Zdunów. He is suspected of committing 166 crimes in total, including corruption and money laundering. There was a cooperative in the hospital. This is usually the case in such situations. It is not that only one doctor is a beneficiary. According to the evidence collected during the proceedings, in 2009 and 2012, Tomasz Grodzki was supposed to accept property benefits for performing the surgery himself. The regional prosecutor's office also collected testimony from 15 witnesses that the marshal of the Senate was to accept bribes before 2006.